Working on the old uh, cop car. Try not to be in the back, trying to be in the front. You know what I'm saying? All right guys, today in the garage, because we're not working on garage garage projects. We're just working in the garage. We got an extra special guest today. One of my favorite people in the whole world, the Long Beach Police Department. Yes sir, they graced us with their presence. In fact, they grace us with their presence quite often. Uh, just to say hi, not to have donuts or nothing. We don't actually serve donuts, guys. That's a mystery of beheld. This is the Historical Society of Long Beach. And they asked us to help them out a little bit. And of course, in the Hoonigan fashion that we are, being automotive guys, we are gonna help them out. One of their biggest complaint was, the old girl wasn't working. That's right, light bar wouldn't party with the motor. We would start the motor, and when the light bar would try to work, the motor would quit. From the story I heard, it's been sitting for a while, and it didn't want to start. And the fluids are probably dirty and we don't know when the spark plugs or any maintenance has been done. So today, we're gonna give her a fresh bill of health. We're gonna do just the minimals, and that's the minimals of keeping this car on the road. We're gonna do a set of spark plugs. There's more than four. There's four on this fender and four on that fender. Kind of reason why I do this is I split everything up because half the motor's over here and half the motor's over there. We're gonna do all eight spark plugs, all eight wires. The radiator's actually in fairly good shape. We're just gonna go ahead and top it off. We have real no leaks. The hoses are in actually remarkably great shape for what they are. The battery, on the other hand, not so much so. We have all of this uh, origamically incorrect, almost looks like Bradology wiring right here. We're gonna try to correct this up. This is like a little sickness. And I believe this is probably two thirds of our electrical problems. Instead of trying to dive into there and figure out why things aren't working. We're gonna dive into here and try to make things a little more right. We're gonna do it with some better cable, better end, uh, hopefully a lot nicer look when we get done with the battery orientation here. As well as today, oil change. Easy stuff, guys. Everybody needs to change their oil. Well, so do they. Let's get to this stuff. Let's get all the easy stuff done. And then if we can't find out all the electrical problems here, we're gonna dive into that old light bar. Yep, we're gonna pull it apart and find out what we can do to make it run. Alright, we got the spark plugs out, but a couple of them are really, really hard. I know you guys probably won't ever work on these olds of cars, or this old of a car, but a lot of times you can't get a spark plug socket in there. So what I like to use is the old wrench. That's right, it's kind of weird. But we got this side all squared away. All these ones over here. We still got that side to do. But while we're over here, we are going to start redoing all that electrical. And when we get this side all finished up, we're gonna flip flop over there and get those plugs and wires done, as well as change the oil. All right guys. I was privileged enough to get to work on, and not ride in, that's work on, the Long Beach Historical Cop Car. Well today, they're here to pick it up. We got it all running, got it going. As you guys can see in some of the videos, we got to use it. But we had to give it our special Hoonigan touch. Casey, what are we gonna add to this? Hoonigan license plate frame. Woo wee! Get your own on the website. Yeah, that was definitely a plug. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put a Hoonigan license plate on this thing, and uh, send them or send it. So this is a big cheese here in Long Beach, you guys. I've never been arrested by either one of these guys. Do you recognize me? Uh, you look slightly familiar. He's lying. I've never <laughs> been in the back of his cop car. <laughs> I've been around a long time. <laughs> Thank you, sir, right. for bringing your car down here. Hey. It was a very much a pleasure. We appreciate you guys working on it and getting it running. She's a hot rod, you know that, right? She used to be a hot rod. Not so much anymore. We like to baby her. It's part of the Long Beach Police Historical Society. And we have a, an association that preserves, maintains, the Long Beach Police historical artifacts, like one of our uh, six cars, like the 1974 Dodge. Well, honestly, it was a privilege to get to work on this. It's two years older than me, but it is one of the cars that I'm familiar with, like when I do see them. I do love the V8s, I do love the 440. It's got all the great parts in it, so you guys should have a good time. My only suggestion to you guys, I tell all the people that have these kind of cars, don't put more than a half a tank of gas in it and try to drive it down and put new gas in it all the time. Bigger problem I had today is all the ethanol that we use in our fuels. I know you guys like to fill them up, but you don't drive it enough. So literally the fuel's going bad 
before we're running it out of gas. When you drive them hard, you'll get a knock. Like when you really get on it, you'll hear a knock in the motor. That's the octane knock, and that's from the poor fuels. Any idea why it wasn't starting? Or I'll show you guys why that was. It's a carbureted car, it's not a fuel injected car. So they really don't even want to be driven until you see that temperature gauge start to crack. And that's because the carburetor is not warm enough to dissipate the fuel. So the bigger problem was these. The ground that goes from here to the body and then your power leads that went from here down to your starter and from here to here were all eroded. When you checked it with the meter, it wasn't getting any power to the devices you wanted. She's a great car though, you miss them. It reminds me of the Dukes of Hazard. Like, that's what I see out of it. Well, I'd like to thank you. I've been a citizen my whole life. I'm probably never gonna go anywhere. Born and raised. Anything you guys wanna bring down to the Hennigan Garage would be much appreciated. At least help you guys out. This is the fun stuff to me. Those little problems, bring it. I love that stuff. We went ahead and put a tune-up in it. We changed the oil, new spark plugs, new wires, new cap and rotor. Didn't necessarily need it because it didn't drive anywhere. Everything was really in good shape. Everything's new. New battery, new lead, everything. You should be solid. On behalf of the Long Beach Police Department and Long Beach Police Historical Society, we wanted to thank Hoonigan for all your work, repairs, and maintenance on this car. We are very appreciative and, and thank you very much. And we're saying goodbye to Mr. Long Beach Police Car. Burnout! Burnout! <laughs> Do a burnout! Don't be scared! <laughs> <laughs>